Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back for another video. This is another great one about Vase. Vase is just blowing me away with all its capabilities, to be honest. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out, it helps me create more content for all of you. Let's dive into it. This will probably be a pretty quick one. Outpainting is a pretty simple process with Vase. So I'll show you where to get the model downloads from, and then we'll dive into the workflows. If you wanna use Artificial Studio, this is a tool that I built that figures Comfy UI and some other LoRa training tools for you. And it has downloads for all of the models that are relevant right now available. So you don't need to go find all the models. It'll just download the right ones for you. And then they work in the workflows straight away. You don't even have to modify the workflow to, to use the right models. If you don't want to use Artificial Studio, you can head over to my Patreon. The post is linked in the description below and you'll find these three .sh files. So the N indicates native, the W indicates wrapper. The files are different between native and wrapper, so you can't just download one set of files and use them on both. If you don't know how to read .sh script, these are basically used for Linux uh, and to install files faster, but the .sh script is just a text file that has the path where you should download the model to. It has the name for what you should name the model. You don't have to follow my naming convention, but if you do, it'll just work right out of the box. And then the download URL. So if you have trouble reading this, you can just put it into ChatGPT and ask it to give you the install location, the name, and the URL for each of the files, and it should have no problem doing that. And then I do give you both the native and the wrapper outpainting workflow here as well. So you can go ahead and download those depending on which one you wanna try. And then we'll head over to the workflow. So if you are using Artificial Studio, the workflows are already there for you. So you can just search up vase and there is a vase out paint native and vase out paint wrapper. So we'll start out with native. And to me, the wrapper actually gives slightly better quality than native, but I, I encourage you to try out both, see which one works best for you. All right. So this is the example video that I've put on social media already, but let's start, let's do a different one just so we don't use the exact same thing. All right, I like this one because it's probably gonna put her legs in and it's a this one's gonna be a big challenge for the model because you can't see her legs and she turns around. So this will be a really good test to see how well it does. For these types of videos, the frame rate doesn't matter as much. It still matters slightly, but it doesn't matter as much. If you're worried about it, you can turn it down to 16 but you do have to adjust the frame load cap to to something that agrees with the amount of frames that Juan is looking for. So even numbers of frames don't work, for example. All right, so I actually did end up forcing the rate to 16 and I just put it to a, an amount of frames that I know is going to work, so 65 will work. And then this is a landscape video. So because it's landscape, I'm going to shrink the video to 640 by 360 and then the out painted video it'll basically pad all the edges of the video with a white border and, and make the resulting video 1280 by 720 with the original video like a mini video inside of that it'll have like a big white frame around it and if you want to do different sizes you just have to resize the image to however small you want it you know you could do like 320 by 180 and then like really out paint it a ton but i'm just gonna start with 640 by 360. i'll just i'll describe the woman a little bit better so a woman wearing a black top and black pants dancing and then make sure that you adjust your models if needed like I said, this is Artificial Studio, so it puts all the models in the right places for you. But otherwise, you can go check out the Vase video, uh, Vase 14B video that I just released a few days ago. That'll tell you where to put all of the models, as well as that .sh file has all of the download target directories and the names that I named them as well. All right. Um, and then the only other thing to mention here is that for steps in CFG, for steps, I've been playing around with three steps. Quality takes a little bit of a hit, but it's 75% faster. You can also do four steps as well. 
Usually I wouldn't recommend going over six. After four, you don't really get a whole lot of benefit anyways. All right, and then make sure you change the VAE if necessary as well. Okay, so that's really everything. Um, all we need to do now is run it. So you can see this is the padded image. So it, it shrunk the video down and then it added this white box around it. So you can see really, really cool, right? I mean, it's even the turning, it completely coherent. There's no skipping or anything like any of the other generations might have. And it even does well with the focus. You can see that background is pretty unfocused, but the stuff that's closer up, like more in line with the woman is more in focus. So really, really cool. This will give you a better idea of the actual quality. You can see the face does, especially with, with vase, I notice if, if you're farther away from the subject, you do get a bit of a hit to the quality of the face. So you could definitely improve this workflow by uh, using like a crop and stitch tool or something like that to place the part that you didn't outpaint with the original video and then leave the outpainted part. But this is a really complicated outpainting to do. And I think vase is probably the only model that can do it right now. So let's head to the wrapper. Again, you can grab this from the Patreon. If you're not using Artificial Studio, if you are using Artificial Studio, it's right there for you. All right, and then the workflow works very similarly. So we're gonna upload our image over woman dancing, put in the final resolution that you want for your video, determine how much you wanna shrink down the original video, which will ultimately say whether you're gonna outpaint more or less of the frame. And then from your models at the top here, so if you don't have Torch Compile working, make sure you turn that off. If you're not swapping any blocks, turn that off. Also, this non-blocking, if you have all three of these turned on, it, it'll give you an error usually. So if you are gonna swap blocks, make sure you turn this non-blocking off to start. The cause with Laura, I usually like between 0.3 and 0.5 for the strength. Make sure, especially for this, you're using the vase module. There's been a lot, a bunch of issues in the Discord where people were either using the native model in the wrapper or the wrapper model in native. Make sure you're using the correct vase models in the correct way with wrapper and native. All right, and then make sure you update your clip and your VAE. And the VAE also, the wrapper version and the native version are different, so make sure you're selecting the right one. For the number of frames, you can either drag this frame count over to the vase and code node, number of frames, or you can just make sure that the, both the frame counts agree. It does the same thing, okay? And then for CFG, so there's been a bit of debate around whether CFG should be one or two, whether TCache or Enhance a Video work. Safest right now, I would say leave it at one. If you'd like to give it a shot, you can turn this up to, I would say two is the max for CFG. And then you can play around with the samplers as well. I'm gonna run this through with Euler just because Euler is what I also used in native. So we'll be able to compare them pretty directly. And that is it. We should just be able to run this and we'll be able to see how it goes. All right, so, and so I just did out of memory here and I'm using a 5090. So you may have to do some quantization. You can use these quantization fields to try to help offload some of the VRAM requirement. And you can also use the FP8 vase module as well. I'm gonna be releasing a video here soon about WAN and how to optimize WAN. So um, if you're interested in that and how to run it on lower GPU models, this uh, that'll be a good video for you to watch. All right, so there you can see we get a very similar output. Face is actually maybe slightly better with the wrapper than with native, but that could also just be due to the seed. We do get these weird, I don't know, brush light looking things in the wrapper version. I don't know, probably a wash on which one is actually better quality here, but two really good options. I mean, this is better than any outpainting for videos that we've had up to this point. It, like the continuity of the walkway is great. The, the building stays very uh, coherent. So really, really cool workflows, really, really cool functionality in vase. And I hope you have a lot of fun playing around with this one. So that is it for this video. If you're interested in Artificial Studio, hit me up on Discord or Patreon. I'll give you access to the beta. Follow me on my other socials. If you follow me on X, you'll see what I'm working on ahead of time. If you wanna check that out, Thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.